can hear him clip clapping, tip tapping. <laughs> we got psyched. Hi, welcome. My name is Kim. I'll be your server today. The only thing on the menu is good dog content. So since I last uploaded, one major thing has happened, and that is that I got a dog. Come here, come closer. Up. Good boy. Good boy. Over a year ago, but we won't talk about that. He did not know any tricks when I got him, by the way. He didn't know how to sit. I love him so much. He is the best thing that's ever happened to me. I said it. You also missed the best haircut I've ever had in my life, but I'll forgive you. So, let's move on. He's napping. You gonna come see people? People wanna meet you. This video is about Sam. Who's that? Who's that, Sam? I have hours of footage of him, so you won't have to look at me very much for this video, and to be quite honest, he deserves the screen time. Yes, I am worse than a mother with a newborn baby, and this has been completely consistent for the past 14 months. So this is Sam. I will insert some clips right here because he does not want to be picked up. He just woke up from a nap. Originally, I visited my local rescue because I was looking into fostering a dog. I knew I would be at home for the summer and my schedule would be really open. And then uh, at one point, I just realized that I was at the point in my life for the first time that literally nothing was stopping me from adopting my own dog. I had some money saved. That's gone now, by the way, rest in peace. I wasn't living in a dorm or planning a big move anytime soon. And to be honest, I was also looking for a sense of purpose outside of myself. And my very large collection of plants can only provide so much. So on that fateful day in June, I went to the rescue with my roommate's mom, who was looking for a barn cat to eat the mice in our house. She also just happens to be an excellent enabler. I'm not gonna lie, I had been browsing the rescue site for at least two weeks, just looking at all the animals I could adopt. So I went in with an agenda. I knew who everyone was and I knew who I wanted to meet. I was looking for a small dog because I knew that in the future I might want to move into an apartment or other small space. And I also didn't want to adopt a very big active dog and not be able to provide all of the exercise it needs. I was deliberately not looking at puppies because I didn't have the time, finances, patience, or knowledge for a puppy. I also am just specifically interested in senior dogs. Senior dogs are chilled out, they know who they are, most of them are perfectly well trained and highly adoptable. Here enters Crab Shack. Wait, who's Crab Shack? Oh yeah, that's my dog. The little paper on his kennel said that his name was Crab Shack, he was around 12 years old, and he had lived with both dogs and cats in the past, which is good news because my mom has the supermodel cat from hell. I asked to meet him and take him on a walk, and he was an absolute delight. He gobbles up human attention and was very bad at walking on a leash, so much so that I wondered if they named him Crab Shack because he pulled sideways so much. We will come back to that. One other person had already put in an application to adopt him, but I did not care because I was in love. It was during the application process that a worker pulled out his file and said very nonchalantly, oh hey, looks like his name used to be Sam. They tried to rename a 12 year old dog, not only to a name that has no relation, rhyme, first letter, anything to his previous name, just to something that was not a name, not a name at all. They said that someone probably changed it when he arrived because there seemed to be a lot of Sams in that particular rescue, but I maintain the belief that some volunteer was just stoned and craving seafood and took advantage of this all-forgiving smiley boy. So yes, he walks a lot better when you say his actual name, and now the only time we refer to Crab Shack is when his inner chihuahua demon comes out to snap at me for doing forbidden things like touching his paws or picking him up when he just took a nap. Crab Shack. I tried to pick him up when he didn't want to be picked up. That's when Crab Shack comes to get you. Senior dogs do often come with quirks like that, but it's just something that you pick up and learn like you do when you meet a new person. Luckily, he has no chronic health issues other than the fact that he has about 10 teeth because the first time I took him to the vet, they were like, hey, we're gonna schedule a routine dental cleaning. And then when I came to pick him up, they were like, we took out half his teeth. So 
he's chilling. He just has a toothless smile sometimes. Other than that, he is extremely sprightly for his estimated age, which is 12. They said he could be anywhere from 12 to as old as 15. So now I say he's about 13 because it's been a year since I adopted him. He's waving at me for pets. He wants a belly rub. This is really hard. It wasn't all easy peasy at first, but it has worked out for the best. He travels really well with me. He charms pretty much everybody he meets and he has just been the best little sweet companion and that's all I really wanted. I could go on literally forever and probably so could all of the clips I have of him, but I just wanted to make this video to celebrate our one year anniversary a little bit late and share the goodest purest boy content that I can with the world. Sam sees pretty much every human he meets as his new best friend, so welcome to the club. I do have seniority. Hope you enjoy and appreciate this a year in the making. And if you don't appreciate it, Crab Shack will just have to come for you with his 10 teeth and growl of doom, so good luck with that. <laughs> Did you wake yourself up? <laughs>